what's going on guys this is episode number two of a closer look and this episode is going to be about a red sox player and that red sox player is mr rico petricelli petricelli however you want to say it i've heard both um just don't call him bad uh he was a very very good player he was born i did take notes again uh, he was born in uh, 1943, June of 1943. His real name is Americo Peter Petroselli. Uh, his parents are both Italian immigrants. He is full-blood American, or not full-blood, but he's American, was born in America. Uh, he's the youngest of seven children. <coughs> um, he was born in Brooklyn, New York. He played baseball and basketball in high school, and he led his school in multiple things in both sports. Uh, he was all scholastic uh, for both sports. He played um, shortstop in high school. Um, and he played, he was signed in uh, 1961 to the Red Sox as a, uh, what are they called, an amateur free agent um, as a shortstop. He's a right handed shortstop, batting and throwing. Um, he played in the minors, 1961 and 62. And also played in 63 in the minors and he um, was called up in September of 63 for one game he had uh, it went for one uh, one for four and he got his first major league hit was a double off of Lee Stang um, excuse me <clears throat> um, in 64 he was in triple-a played triple-a and then in 65 he came up uh, to uh, the big leagues again um so technically he had 13 13 seasons with the red sox because he's a september rookie call up um but uh it's really 12. but uh in 65 and 66 he went for a combined 31 home runs and 92 rbis uh he was se selected to his first all-star game of two um in 1967 um he was a starting shortstop for the american league he went hitless with his one at bat. Um, he was also selected as an all-star again in 1969. Um, in 67 is when the uh, uh, Red Sox went to the World Series, the Impossible Dream team, um, versus the St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, he started all seven games, which everybody knows, unfortunately, the Red Sox lost. Um, and he uh, <clears throat> hit two home runs in one game, game six, off of the same pitcher, which his name was Dick Hughes, uh, for the Cardinals. In 68 and 69, he led uh, the American League shortstops in fielding percentage, which this is amazing. As a shortstop, six foot tall, 180 pounds, he had 978 and 981 were his percentages for 68 and 69. Um, in 71, the Red Sox acquired uh, Louis, Louis Aparicio, who played shortstop. Um, so that moved him, to, uh, Rico, to uh, third base, which is why he played short and third. Uh, he never went back to shortstop after they got him. Um, he led, <laughs> so in 69 and 68, he led the league, American League shortstops for fielding percentage. 71, he uh, was moved to third base same year he led the league in third baseman American League third baseman with fielding percent or for fielding percentage with 976 and the dude only had 11 errors and 463 chances he was a Hoover um, is insane amount of talent and they moved I mean he played shortstop his whole career little league high school most of his major or some of his major league career and then they moved him to third and he still dominated so it's called the hot corner, and uh, you can imagine why. Uh, 73, he played only 100 games due to calcium deposits in his right elbow, and he needed surgery for uh, for that. So he didn't play any after that, uh, after he had surgery. He returned to the 74 season, um, but he didn't play after September 15th because he was beamed in the head um, by a ball, which caused a pitch which caused multiple uh, issues with inner ear uh, problems which is why he missed half of the second the second half of August in 75 
because of inner ear issues from the same, uh, they're guessing from the same incident where he was uh, hit in the head by a pitch. Um, in 75 World Series, he played all seven games, uh, but he did not um, commit an error the entire 75 postseason. So again, just dominating at third base, even after having issues uh, with inner ear problems and getting hit in the head by a pitch. I wouldn't even... Uh, this scar right here, right there, I got split open when I was like six or seven years old running from a brother on the corner of an end table. And then when I was 15, I got hit from a batted ball while I was, I was pitching. I got hit in the, right in the middle of the eyes with a batted ball. I didn't get my glove up high enough and it tipped it off. I can imagine just getting hit in the face by a pitch, a 90 something mile an hour pitch. No, no thank you. Um, he missed more games in 76 due to the same issue, the inner ear issue. Um, and he and that resulted him getting released in uh, 1977. Um, and I forgot the dude's name that took over for him. Bob something. I can't remember. Um, but his stats, Rico's stats. He's in the Boston Red Sox Hall of Fame. He's a two-time All-Star, so he doesn't have a whole lot of play for the actual Hall of Fame. I don't expect him to get into it. I would love to see him get into it, but he's he's not. Um, he's got 210 home runs, 773 RBIs, 653 runs scored in 1,553 games with a 251 lifetime average. Um, he holds the eighth, since as of 2018, he held the eighth best all-time fielding percentage for third basemen in the entire baseball uh, in the entire league. Um, and in 97, he was inducted to the hall of fame, Red Sox hall of fame. And, uh, after, um, he retired, he went into broadcasting and he also ma managed uh, a couple minor league teams. Um, I want to say Paul Tuckett, Red Sox, the Rainiers. And I think he also broadcast for the Rainiers. But um, he also wrote a book titled Rico Petroselli's um, Tales from the uh, Impossible Dream Red Sox. And that was about a 69, uh, the 69 Red Sox. Um, and I do have a rookie. Uh, since I'm talking about baseball, I thought I'd show a card. I do have a 60, uh, 65 tops rookie. So 65 was his considered his rookie year because he came up in late September of uh, 63 didn't play bigs in 64 so 65 was his rookie season um, and as a rookie season uh, in his rookie season he did switch hit so there it is right there he is on the uh, card with another rookie Jerry Stevenson um, so this is, a, this is a PSA 6 I did get it on eBay which is why my stickers there but, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy these. Um, I know I talk kind of fast, but I researched these and I've, I learned a lot about him. Uh, why I chose him is obviously because it's a Red Sox, but he's also one of my favorite Red Sox. Um, I was never able to play third or short because I was left-handed. just doesn't make sense to have a left-handed third, short, second baseman. Um, I always pitched, played first base or center field, but I mostly pitched. So uh, it's always fun for me to read about these stats and how these guys get these fielding uh, records, percentage records. and I just like stats. I like sports. I like baseball. So it's fun for me to learn, especially when it's a Red Sox player. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed episode two. Um, episode three will be coming next week, and I'm going to be doing some research on a, a special uh, set, so or special to me. So... Look forward to uh, the comments and uh, yeah, see you guys.